Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. In the today's speed race, I'm gonna put the new Nubia Red Magic gaming phone versus the OnePlus 5T. Now, why not against the OnePlus 6? Because it's quite a lot more expensive and it's running the latest Snapdragon 845, so it's not really comparable, but both of those phones are running Snapdragon 835. They've got 128 gigs of storage. They've got 8 gigabytes of RAM and they've got 2160 by 1080 screens. This is an LCD, this is an AMOLED screen and the other difference is that over here we've got 3800 mAh of battery and over here we've got 3300 mAh of battery guys. So let's waste no more time and start straight away with a quick fingerprint test. Check this out, 1, 2, 3. As you can see, the OnePlus 5T is definitely quicker, guys. Both of those fingerprints are pretty good, but the OnePlus 5T is a little bit quicker. Now, what are the conditions that I'm going to conduct this test with? Check this out. Both of those phones are running on 0.5 animation scale, and both of those phones have one SIM card inside, and they're connected to Vlogging 2.4 Wi-Fi network. Now, before anything else, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start the battery temperature application to see what kind of temperatures are we going to get from both of those phones and the end of this test, guys. Now, both of them are running at 29 degrees Celsius, which is a good temperature so far, considering I haven't really started the test. Both of them have 60 percent battery left as well so we're gonna see which one is going to draw more battery towards the end of the test guys and now before anything else i have set up the brightness um equally to my eyes i know there's a difference over here that's probably 90 that's 80 percent and it might look a little bit different on camera but to my eyes at the moment they're set absolutely equally and now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna flip that switch over here there's the game boost phone on the uh the nubia phone check this out guys this led strip is crazy and why i'm gonna do that now i know that the oneplus again has a game boost mode but what it does it it reduces the resolution so we don't really want that to happen where this game boost on doesn't really reduce the resolution guys so we are about to see whether we're gonna have some actual benefits from that game boost mode of course you can uh, you know use that to piss piss your friends off it's cool or something like that but apart from that we're gonna see whether we have any actual benefit from this game boosting mode guys so let's waste no more time i'm gonna, I'm gonna clear all the applications by the way these are the stock launchers stock icons i haven't done any modifications whatsoever so these are the games that i'm going to run check this out these are the games over here after that, we're gonna open those applications, and after that, we're gonna check the benchmark results. And finally, I'm gonna stress them with a stress test with Antutu. So let's no waste no more time and let's do this, baby. One, two, three. Now, kill shot virus. That's that surprisingly heavy game, guys. Surprisingly, surprisingly heavy game. And let's see which one is gonna load it up faster. Okay, pretty much the same. Oh man, I'm actually surprised. Okay. Okay, now let's continue to PUBG, my favorite game, guys. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Uh, of course, it's not. Uh, I've never really played this game in my life. No, I didn't. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay, the OnePlus 5T was just a little bit quicker, just a little bit quicker, guys. Let's see which one is going to load up faster over here. Both of them having the running person over here. Okay, different loading screens. I don't mind really and that was pretty much the same guys let's continue with let me just bloody hell this up is bloated anyway <laughs> now let's continue with Hildash now that's a let's say quirky little game over here that I've been uh, playing for some time now okay the OnePlus 5T was actually quicker all right, all right, all right. Let's continue with Angry Birds. Angry Birds 2, guys. Angry Birds 2, one of my favorite games. Actually, I really have no idea why I'm wasting my time with that game. But anyway, okay, okay. I believe, I really believe that the Red Magic was just a little bit quicker on this occasion, guys. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it as it is over here. And we're going to proceed 
to the next game, which is Asphalt. That's probably one of the worst optimized games uh, of all times, but let's see. Okay, okay, the Rudnubi Red Magic was just a little bit quicker, I believe. We're gonna let these applications running so we can see in the multitasking after that which one is gonna do better. Now, let's kick off with YouTube Music. Now, that's a terrible new application as well. And the Red Magic was just a little bit quicker, guys. Now, let's continue with YouTube. What do we have? I believe it was more or less equal. All the OnePlus 5T was a little bit quicker. Now, let's do Chrome. Just a little bit quick on the Red Magic. By the way, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button over here. I really want to see those numbers growing, but guys, I'm aiming to hit 10,000 subscribers by Christmas, so help a brother out over here. Now, let's open up Twitter. Okay, noticeably quick on the Red Magic. Actually, I'm kind of surprised at the moment. Instagram. Let's see what we have. I couldn't see properly, but I think they were more or less equal, guys. So, IGTV, by the way, if you haven't followed me on, on IGTV, please do, I'm going to give some quick updates of what's coming on my channel on IGTV as well, so make sure you follow me over there. Now, what we are going to do over here, guys, base mark, I'm just going to show you the results, uh, actually, let's do Kasja, let's do Kasja, that's one of my favorite applications because it measures the highest possible frame rate with both phones guys now let's see bloody hell anyway <laughs> i mean the time the time that both of those applications take is pretty much the same so it doesn't really matter which phone is gonna uh, you know load up fast now in terms of pricing i really want to talk about that a little bit the oneplus which phone was that yeah one <laughs> Yeah, OnePlus 5T is already out of stock in the OnePlus website. The 128 gig version is a little bit expensive at about 460 pounds, where the 64 gig version is about 360 pounds, guys. The Red Magic, nobody really knows what is it going to be the final retail price. I got the Indiegogo version and after taxes and everything, it cost me about 370 pounds, but I guess it's going to be 380, 400, something like that. So a little bit cheaper than the 5T. So maybe if you need a serious gaming phone, you'll be able to save a little bit of cash buying the uh, Red Magic instead of the 5T. Now the AMOLED screen, of course, is better, guys. I mean, probably you can already tell it's better. But anyways, now what do we have guys? Average 78 FPS on the 5T and average 81 FPS on the Red Magic. This is actually good. Very negligible difference, but a little bit better on the Red Magic. Now I have already run the new uh, base mark. Uh, now I have already completed the new base mark benchmark applications guys. So let me show you what the results are. That's the 5T over here. And this is the Red Magic. Let's see what the results are. 887, 901 on the 5T, a little bit. As you can see the results, you can pause the video over here. The 5T gives a little bit better results in absolutely everything, guys. Now, the next application that I've run was the Basemark GPU application. That's new as well. And let's see what the results are. Now, I've done the native test on both phones. So let's just quickly see the results from these applications, guys. Now, history. Okay, so Vulkan is the red one and OpenGL is the blue one. As you can see, 20,000, uh, 20, 2,091, 2,082, and 2,100 over here, 41, and 2,097. Now, a little bit higher on the 5T in both occasions, guys. And now, let's quickly check what kind of battery temperatures are we running at at the moment. 35 degrees on the Red Magic and 31 degrees on the 5T, guys. This is running a little bit hotter, which is kind of a surprise to me because it's supposed to have some crazy thermal whatever. Actually, let me just um, switch this one to start tracking. Okay. Now, Antutu. Before I actually run Antutu, let's see, let's see, let's see what do we have. Now, before I actually run Antutu, guys, I've run it before and you can see that Actually, on the uh, Red Magic, I'm getting a little bit higher results on Antutu. But before I run the real Antutu test and, and everything else, actually, let's do that now. Yeah, let's do this now. 
Okay, test again. All right, let's see. Let's see which one is going to complete it faster, guys. Okay, guys, so the Antutu test is over. And as you can see, I've got slightly higher overall result on the Red Magic. Now, the CPU is slightly higher on the 5T for whatever reason. Uh, the GPU is, well, comes up at most more powerful over here. The UX, more or less similar. And the memory, a little bit higher on the Red Magic. Now, what I've noticed is we've got 37 degrees over here and 41 over here on the Red Magic, guys. So I really don't know what kind of thermal, you know, paste or whatever they've applied but actually the oneplus 5t is running cooler but i'm gonna check this out in the final stress test and now let's actually come back to the applications and see how is the ram management okay excellent on both so far instagram loads up instantaneously over here twitter is still open now chrome let's see See, I've got no subscribers. I told you to subscribe and you haven't. So, hmm, I'm going to cut this video here. <laughs> right. Let's, 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 let's do YouTube to see. Okay, everything is still here. Now, YouTube music, everything is still here. And now, most importantly, the games, guys. Let's check the games. Now, Asphalt, let's check this out. Okay, it was open in both phones. Now, let's do Angry Birds. Okay, opening both phones as well. Now, what else? Hill Dash. Okay, this one was uh, use Cloud. Okay, anyway, both of them were open. And now let's do PUBG. Okay, both of them open. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And now Killshot Virus. Last chance for a phone to screw up. But unfortunately, it didn't. So, RAM management on both phones, absolutely equal and absolutely amazing, guys. 8 gigabytes of RAM with these optimizations, <laughs> optimizations that we have over here. Excellent results. And now, I'm going to clear all of the junk over here. Let's see. Okay, and we're going to go back to Antutu. And we're going to start a stress test to see how is the temperatures going guys stress test now i've already done it obviously but i'm gonna test it once again guys and now just quickly uh, i want to talk about something on the 5t we are kind of at the end of this uh the support of this phone guys has been around for about six months numerous updates and the red magic remember it's not even officially out yet i already had two updates and i have actually enrolled in the beta testing program so basically i'm reporting to the red magic to see uh what kind of optimizations and bug fixes they can do so they're working on the updates this is again the stock android version guys but by the way, I'm still rocking the Moto 360. Um, but yeah, on the side note. So yeah, basically the Red Magic is not even available yet. It's going to be available, I guess, next month. So until next month, they're going to have at least two or three more updates. So it's very possible that until next month, on the month after that, the Red Magic is going to be even quicker than that. Now, the stock Android, you have totally no functions whatsoever. I mean, over here, you can't really rearrange the buttons. There are a few features missing, but apparently they might come uh, to the stock Android. And if they do not come, I'm going to flash the Chinese version just out of curiosity to see what really is happening uh you know with the functions with the extra stuff but check this out the led is still running and the reason that i'm running is because you got you got basically um you got a gaming phone with an led strip so what's the point of having an led strip if you don't use it basically you catch my drift over here so i'm gonna pause the video now i'm gonna come back when this test is complete guys and we're gonna see which one is running hotter so see you in a sec Okay guys, so both of those phones are almost completing the stress test now. It's been a good 15 minutes and let's see which one is actually running hotter at the moment. Now, again, the Red Magic completed a little bit quicker. Now, there's a CPU performance and that's actually weird. Um, it doesn't run on 100% most of the time and the Red Magic actually run most of the time on 100% guys, but let's check the battery temperature which we have quite a huge difference 43 degrees on the oneplus 5t it is hot because it's metal at the back it is hot at the moment but let's actually see the red magic oh man 
It is, oh man, it's, oh, 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 it's, 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 it's actually burning hot. It is actually burning hot over here, guys. So, now, let's see, actually, in real-time usage, whether we're going to have any sort of impact on the performance. So, straight away, we're going to go to Kasja and run another benchmark to see how is the throttling. Because, yes, it gets hot, but if there is no impact on the performance, actually, who cares? Um, so, yeah, let's see what results are you going to get, guys. It's, it's kind of interesting, to be honest with you, what we're going to get over here. Now, in terms of battery life... We've got 45% over here and 45% on the 5T, which means basically, despite this battery being a little bit bigger, it actually translates to real-time performance because the, the hotter the phone is, basically, the more battery it is going to drain, guys. So, let's see what we're gonna get in terms of um, FPS. You can already see that there's a difference, guys. Uh, noticeably lower, noticeably lower than what we originally had. Remember, I believe it was 91 FPS on the Red Magic and 89 FPS on the 5T. Correct me, correct me if I'm wrong. But let's see, at the end of the day, when the phone is running hot, is it going to affect the performance or is it not, guys? And from what I can see, <laughs> it does affect the performance, of course. Let's see what we're going to get. Yes, 66 FPS on the 5T and just 50 FPS on the Red Magic phone, guys. So, let's sum it up. Both phones, in terms of opening up applications, are excellent and you're not going to find noticeable difference. Now, opening up games is maybe a little bit quicker on the Red Magic every now and then. And overall... Uh, when it comes down to the gaming itself, they're, they're pretty much the same in terms of FPS and benchmarking. In terms of battery, they're again pretty much the same. Oh, we've got 44%, 45% over here. Yeah, that doesn't matter. But in terms of heat, this one is running generally hotter. And what I think is one of the reasons that we've got an AMOLED screen over here and we've got an LCD screen over here. From my experience, the LCD screens are running always hotter than the AMOLED screens, guys, which is a little bit unfortunate, but let me tell you something, day-to-day -day usage, you're not going to be opening up five games, you're not going to do a stress test on the phones, so day-to-day -day usage, I would say that I'm actually quite surprised by the Red Magic, because it managed to beat the 5T uh, in a few occasions, uh, so overall, guys, if you're looking for, you know, a little bit cheaper gaming phone on a very high-end level, you might as well get the Red Magic instead of the 5T. But there's only one aspect of the phones. Stay tuned for the full review and comparison between all of those two phones, guys, to see how is, you know, how the displays, how the cameras, how is the sound, because these are the other deciding factors when you're buying a phone, guys. And by the way, if you're interested to see how each one of those phones compares to the OnePlus 6, the Avengers Edition, 260 gigs, 256 gigs, and not 260, over here, guys, let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram mainly. That's where I post uh, almost daily some interesting stuff. Check me out on IGTV as well. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to Vlogging Project, always honest reviews. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and see you later.